last stronghold of Ukrainian resistance in the devastated city of Mariupol is no more. Russia's top general says the city's steel plant is now completely liberated and under full Russian control after nearly 2,000 Ukrainian soldiers surrendered. Liberated is the term the Russians use for their brutal, bloody conquest. These are some of the final photos from inside the bunker where the Ukrainian defenders hold up for weeks underground beneath that sprawling Soviet-era complex. They emerged only to fight in the ruins and become heroic symbols of Ukrainian defiance completely surrounded by Russian forces. The Ukrainian military ordered them to give up after they negotiated a surrender deal with Moscow. Their commander released a video today. The military high command have given an order to save lives and the health of the garrison servicemen and to cease defending the city. We have constantly emphasized the three most important conditions for us, civilians, wounded and dead. The civilians have been evacuated. The heavily wounded received the necessary assistance and they were evacuated to be later exchanged and delivered to territory controlled by Ukraine. With regards to the fallen heroes, the process continues. There is growing concern about what will happen to those fighters. They're now prisoners of war in Russian custody. Meantime, the United Nations reports nearly six and a half million refugees have now escaped Ukraine. NBC's Julia Ainsley spoke to Ukrainian families now living in Florida. Tampa couple Roya and Tony Tyson weren't used to a noisy house. Had you ever done anything like this before? Never. Uh, we are uh, two professionals, no children. Then last month, the couple welcomed Ukrainian refugees, Yulia, husband Serhi, and son's 11-year-old Max and 3-year-old Mark into their house, turning the quiet home of two into a full house of six. We were seeing all these people that were just fleeing, so we researched a, a church that were matching the host's families with the refugees. We said, you know, we have room for, for two or three, and they said we have a family of four. And we said, all righty then. Yulia's family fled Ukraine when Russian bombing started and entered the U.S. by way of Mexico. Inside the Tyson's home, they finally found rest. My son, when the war started, had nightmares, and now he's able to sleep again. <laughs> Then the Tyson's lives became even fuller. Yulia told her host about the plight of her friend Masha and her husband and three children. The Tampa community rallied, and Masha's family was taken in by a couple a 10-minute drive away. As soon as I got down on the escalator in the airport and I saw all of my friends with Ukrainian flags and American flags, it made me feel safe. But settling into America is no easy matter for Ukrainian refugees. Social worker Susan Morgan is helping Yulia and Masha navigate pages and pages of applications for asylum. It is a big responsibility, and you do feel the weight of it when you don't have just one person's life, but a whole family and multiple families. That responsibility typically falls to refugee resettlement agencies funded by the U.S. government. But that assistance hasn't been provided so far to Ukrainians. Unlike other recent refugees to the U.S., including the thousands of Afghan refugees last fall, Ukrainian refugees and host families are responsible for navigating everything from work visas to medical care to housing. We tagged along on a medical exam for Masha's children. They need physicals to enroll in school. And beyond physical checkups, there is the emotional transition. Yulia's son Mark hid under furniture when he first got to the Tyson's house, still fearful of Russian shelling. We are bringing a family in that has left their home, their family, they have losses. So as many times people are happy to get here, they're still experiencing trauma. Welcome home, guys. The immediate goal is getting families on their feet. After six weeks with the Tysons, Yulia and her family managed to find an apartment of their own and an affordable housing unit. They'll live a short drive from the Tysons. One time strangers, they now call family. I have someone now that I will have in my life forever. Welcome home. Welcome home, Yulia. Baby, you're okay. It's good. You see, huh? For the news, I'm Julia Ainsley.